What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Football Capital and welcome back to another Premier League review show. I am here with the boys, Rami and Seba, Man U TV, back at it again. Yes, Man U TV. <laughs> um, lads, not the best weekend for us. I mean, nice little cute draw. <laughs> and also had the we also speak about the Liverpool and City game. Match of the week. Match of the week, yeah. And then we also had some other little scrappy games <laughs> along the way. Uh, so a few scrappy games along the way. But boys, let's start off at Old Trafford. Man United three, Everton three. He wants to start off because I'm like still a bit fuming. Um firstly it was it was a big week for the ladder. Um massive week for the ladder. Uh, big influence in the top four this week um, regards to results. But in regards to the United game, look, disappointing small errors um, from some players that you just don't want to happen. And and obviously the key talking point here is De Gea. Um, for me, it is at least. Um, he's been on the decline for the last few years or so. And I think... Since the Ronaldo hat trick. <laughs> I swear to God, since the Ronaldo hat trick in the World Cup. Bro, scarred, scarred him. Scarred, scarred him big time. But you know what? Two of the three goals I feel like he could have done much better with. Much better with. Um, and I, even the second goal, I feel like them, sh them like shots usually saves. You, well, you shot stopper, like you said, you, yeah. were t you were telling us just then, near post, uh, it's harsh. I think for me, the, 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 first, the one, first, yeah, the definitely. first one they pushed out like an idiot to the core, it was next level. Yeah, that and was the biggest error. And the third one, like you come out, you commit, or you don't come out. Like, and he was in two and you places. And you know, like we all know keepers get the benefit of the doubt in the box. Yeah. If he comes out and just takes the hit for the team, he gets the foul. Regardless if it goes in or not, usually the keepers would, will get will get the foul. We've seen yeah. a couple of weeks ago, Maguire went up. He was actually going for the ball. Keeper went into him and we got disallowed the goal against Sheffield. Yep. So De Gea, it's like, it just, I don't know. Every, like, even that Sheffield game as well, goes up for the corner. He's, it's, he's not taking anyone out. He's ab absolutely pissed weak. But this De one, De this one's even more, a bit more blatant than those crosses. Because in a cross, yeah, you, there's reasons to not go for a ball. But, but there was no reason to not commit, like Rami said, to that one. Because it was just... Calvert Lewin and him, like get to his feet, make the make himself as big as possible, and he didn't wait and let him slide it in. Last fucking kick of the game. Yeah, that again, again, three, once again, three but points. Oh. Once oh. Fair is, hey, Fed is calling. Yeah, here we go. Get him online. <laughs> get him on. What's he want? <laughs> hey, you're live, ah, mate. That pose. You're live. What happened to your team? We're gonna speak about your team soon, yeah. but <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see Fed is there. <laughs> 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 Jeez, do you see how he only he only rocks up when they win? They haven't won at home for how long? He's not on anymore. He's gone. He's non-existent. But um, look, on I guess let, let's touch on some positives about United before we move to Everton. Um, Bruno again, what a goal! Unbelievable goal. Cavani back on the scoring board again. The, look, the first half in general, I think it was so cruisy for us. We just I wouldn't say dominated like with like chances and all that, but we just controlled the game. Yeah. It didn't, to be honest, it didn't look like Everton were ever going to score besides after the Bruno goal where Kevin Lewin was put in through. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> and, he, and he dragged that shot wide. But to be honest, we were, that first half, 2-0 up, very comfortable. I thought, very. Uh, I'm like, this is a beautiful Another match. one. You know, after that 9-0 where it yeah. was like comfortable, he didn't have to, didn't really have to worry about anything. I'm like, I it's going to be another worried, one. Of, uh, it's going to be another one of them. You always do. It's 90 minutes. So much can happen. And, and it took and it's two like, minutes for them to come like, back. That's what I mean. It's like you said. Like, minutes, literally two now, minutes. Now, we've seen it so many times where we've scored some cracker goals, but then it kind of's like, eh. Because yeah, we, that's enough today. Yeah, but it's not just that. It's like now the goals don't really matter that as much because we didn't even win the game. Like that Bruno goal, yeah, individually it's yeah. gonna look alright, and it's like, oh yeah, but it was all, all yeah. for nothing because in a game we that we threw away, didn't oh. get the three points. Yeah, and and it, like Rashford in the box taking ten thousand touches, and then not playing it across, not goal. playing it to anybody, like taking the shot. It's instead. happening too too often, and and these points that they're getting. And too that could crucial. have been yeah, that could have been three nil. It, you, we had another chance yeah. with Luke Shaw. Maybe it was a, it was a bit more harder for Luke Shaw. It was Luke a good Shaw. save. But the, but the thing is, if you spoke about the performance, is there any players you were extremely disappointed with? I don't think so. Disappointed, disappointed with? with? Well, De Gea, obviously. De Gea's one. But, but I, think, I think the defence. The defence Everyone lets, else performed. The, like, the defence lets the attackers down. The attackers, for the most part, are doing their jobs, getting the goals. But like in this game, we were let down by our Yeah, but which, atta overall. which attackers are doing their job? Well, we, we, like we scored three goals this game. We scored nine goals the game before. Yeah, I know. Look, but but what I'm, what I'm saying is, all right, Cavani, obviously, he's our, he's our out-and-out striker. 
And he's unbelievable. But Rashford's man. like creating chances as well. He as, is, as but at the same time, he's, he's stuffy. Yeah, but at the same, he should have. Yeah, he, I he, get he it. Do you know what it is? If we win this game three two, we say, "All right, great performance." Yeah, yeah, Rashford had this chance. Now the whole conversation has changed because of that last last minute goal. Mm. And it's happened to us so many times, though. Yeah, because it's like the free kick is mm. given away almost just after halfway, and Axel doesn't need to give that free kick away. No, yeah, there's so many all. other players covering. He's done that against. He's done that against. Um, Leicester, all right, it's not so much his fault that the deflection came off him, but body position was wrong. Against Sheffield as well, body position was wrong for that goal. He copped all that racial abuse online. Is his head mentally stable to, to throw him in in the last couple of minutes to try see this game off? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe he put someone in like Matic to come in and slow the comp- like slow Ma- that yeah Matic gives him slow the sense pace. Of, so then again, you, again, leadership. you gotta look at maybe Oli in that situation. You you, you, you gotta ask questions. Oh, you, you look Where, at everyone. Where's yeah. Eric Bay? He's still injured. That's what I mean. That's that, I told you from the beginning. But he's, but he's a probably he's our best defender, but then he can't stay fit. Or he's, but yeah, yeah, he picks up a rock. Right. Yeah, he hasn't been for three games. Yeah, hasn't no, been playing, no. man, and that's the problem with him. And when he was playing, we were winning, 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 winning. We, we, we didn't lose with Bayi, and you're 100 percent right. With we the lost six ma- one with Bayi, but yeah, yeah obviously day. that's <laughs> one off. But like, you, but <laughs> fraud, <laughs> fraud. <laughs> yeah, actually, he's a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> but you're 100 percent right about the Matic call, man. Someone like Matic needed to come on there to calm it down. But regard, like even regardless, without without Matic. That we should be like dealing with the with the day, and it was uh, just past halfway. That's the thing. It wasn't like, but it's um, you it's gave a away a free kick, and it was like even, one. You can even hold him up without it making a foul. Yeah, yeah your players yeah, come yeah. back. But um, it was going but, wide, but and it's just crazy because we, we were sitting first. We were sitting very healthy, very very strong, and now look at the last five games: win, loss, draw, win, draw. Terrible. That loss, the draw, and the draw. I was saying to you guys before. That's nine points. We got two out of. And the not nine. even that. It's not even that, Rami, as well. Like and you look at you look at now some of the other results. That that draw to that draw to Arsenal could have been a win. You got you got teams like Villa, teams like Villa beating them. Um, like how many? If we look at um their last couple of games, look at Arsenal's last couple of games. Lost to Villa, lost to Wolves, and drew to us. Right. Yeah. So. Again, points dropped. You by could us. have dropped by points by us. Liverpool can't win at home. Like we thought, yeah, nil or maybe maybe with the two chances of Bruno and Pogba, we should have got the three points. But we're like, you know what? It's at Anfield. They haven't lost here. They haven't won there in the last three games now. Mm. Do you know what I mean? So another opportunity. It's easy to say after the after the actual game when yeah. all this has happened. But then you look at it, you're like, Bur- Brighton went there and, and beat Liverpool. Burnley went there and beat Liverpool. And it's like we couldn't do it, and then like these these games, but you never know. But like, look on 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 the flip. Let's let's talk about Everton's performance against United. It's it we have to. I mean, <laughs> well, three th- shots, th- three shots, three goals. Yeah, but did they do their job? Oh. They ca- they capitalized on United's yeah, errors and they scored and they. They might real. be thinking the same thing, but you, you, they, you the you way three goals away from home, like you got the get way they were celebrating in the change win. rooms. If you saw the footy, it's like they won the Premier League. Yeah, it's embarrassing, you, but, bro. But it's if, embarrassing. But if you score ninety fifth minute to equalize yeah. against United, that's like winning, yeah, winning a yeah, final. Yeah, but you got like yeah, but what, what, right what's now, your what's your yeah? Team? But right now they're fighting for Europa. Yeah, they're seventh. They want. I don't Europa know what they. they well, they said their goals are for this season, but yes, well, you're celebrating a draw. And with two games in hand, they play tw- they've played 21 games, so that's a possible another six points they can get. That's 43. That puts them up equal. Third well, then that the means they'll have to beat City in that run. You never know what could happen. Do us the no, summit. no, I'm not saying it. I'm not yeah, saying I'm yeah, not saying yeah, they'll yeah, have to beat City for that. Yeah, and absolutely. then like you got City versus Spurs. Well, everyone hopes in these big games Jose does something, but he's a fraud as well. <laughs> I mean, he chose Lindelof over Van de- uh, Van Dyke. I was going to say Van der Vaart. Yeah. Uh, chose Lindelof over Lindelof over Van Dyke. Yeah. yeah. Did, you, did you see what Charlie Austin said? In yeah. Talks no, no. Yeah. No. Yeah. Well, she well, chose Lindelof over Ch- uh, um, Virgil van Dijk. Uh, when they were at Southampton, Charlie <laughs> yeah. Austin, he goes, we're, we're on the bench against Chelsea. And he asked Virgil, he's like, he goes, man, as, as, he goes, how, like, as if Man United or someone like a big team hasn't come in for you. He goes, man, Man United had, we're, we're going to, we're supposed to choose over me or Lindelof. And they went with Lindelof. And who was our manager right. then? Yeah, so it's but look, look, I know, I know, Everton only had the three shots. They get the, they get the one point. Look, at, to be honest, to be honest, point. they got the result that maybe they wanted. If you go into this game against United, regardless of form and regardless of how we how we are at home, one point against United, one point they would have result. taken it. But you know what? I don't think they even deserved any. Oh, they do deserve it because they capitalized on our mistakes. So don't get me wrong. But was United the better team? Of course, of, of course. Absolutely. Everton, That's Everton didn't. Re- Everton were more threatening in that first game when we played them at their, at Goodison. Yes, like they they 
went off the blocks firing. They got the early goal, and then but, it was just a few but, but, but brilliant. But they, they were more informed back then. Everyone was watching everything. Yeah, like, Ooh, can they win the, the league? Off, first yeah. The yeah, now you don't question. They can't win the league. I, I, there's no chance. But the thing is with me is the likes of the Kure did well. Hamas Rodriguez got himself a goal, which you, you say arguably De Gea should have. And saved. you know what he he, he was going to get taken off at half time. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's his name? Hammers. Hammers was going to yeah, get taken yeah. off for uh, Sig- Sigerson at half time, and then I think he, manager just Ancelotti leaves her running for a little bit, and he actually got the goal. So, hey, but three points. They're sitting at they're sitting at seventh with two games in hand. If they win both, they're sitting equal third with Leicester. So that's a huge th- th- that's a huge one point for them. Believe it or not, it's a massive one. It point is, yeah, them. you're right. But because, you l- yeah, yeah. Hey, you that, look at that, some of the fixtures. Like they got look Fulham at, next. So that's a that's like a. Three sure, pointer three points, yeah. on paper it is yeah you so think, you think you're yeah. looking there on forty points which takes them uh, equal with Liverpool with a game in hand Liverpool play Leicester next so that's gonna determine where that's Leicester huge. Leicester and um, Liverpool sit at the end of this week yeah. City got Spurs Spurs have been in shocking form they got a good win against um, West Brom which you know in in but the relegation zone but that's also another surefire three points like, like yeah but then forward. again you never know you but never you need know to win those games if. Where struggling. are they playing it though? Are they playing it at home or away? So at the Etihad. So that's a, yeah, that's a. It's gonna be a difficult one. But if Mourinho, if Mourinho can go there, park something. Nah, they, I know. They, 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 yeah, there's no not. way it's they no can. Way. Uh, Mourinho's chance to win is as small as this cable, cause <laughs> <laughs> he's got nothing, bro. You know what? That's a pretty long cable. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but um, look, <laughs> that's a Gareth Bale away from <laughs> winning <laughs> let's the PGA um, tour. Before we move on to the next game, let's talk about the 95th minute equaliser that we copped. Now, it happened from this, the foul, like you said, it wasn't needed. And then people, the talking point with that is Maguire keeping the whole yeah. line onside. The screenshot analysts. The screenshot analysts. Now, all you screenshot analysts, bro, that's all you guys look at. To be Instead fair, of though, taking a step back and looking at where it actually went wrong, it's always that screenshot. To be fair, though, like that. me and Sebo are saying, in a free kick, you have enough time to hold the line. He didn't. Now, is he in the wrong for that goal? I don't think so. I still think it's Axel's fault in the very beginning for giving that stupid foul away. It wasn't needed. And then you don't win the first header. Then the second ball, you don't win that. And then but everyone just stands around. Then the hair. So it's, and a, then it, and then it's, it's ridiculous. a series of mistakes. But then it goes over the top, somehow sneaks through, and then Calvin Lewin's one on one keeper taps it in. It's easy. You know what? If Maguire, if Maguire wasn't the captain, and if, if it didn't cost 80 million, that this blame wouldn't be putting it on him. No. It's simple as that. If he cost. Your 35 million wasn't the captain, someone else was captain. You know, you'll be looking at it because if you look at it in fast motion, that split second takes him that far. And I don't know if the keeper looked like he must have gave him in a bit of a push. Yeah. <laughs> but um <laughs> anyway. But you know what I mean? Like everyone just one screenshot, like like um Arsenal fans always they're screenshotting that um uh Bruno Fernandez challenge on who was it? What's his name? The, the no no no, yeah, the studs. On Xhaka, yeah, I think it was on Xhaka. How come this is not a red card? Bro, no, no Arsenal player complained. Xhaka got up straight away. Of course, the of course the the the, the picture of the studs up is gonna look Bro, as I it's can gonna pause, look worse. I can pause any moment of football and make it look how I want it to look. Yeah. Let's be honest. I like, can, what about Shushak's one? The red card is a Shushak. Shushak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got um. The, the red card, what was, he, what, what was he trying to do? Get his arm yeah, around yeah, yeah, yeah. Mitrovic. Yeah, yeah. But the screenshot looks like he's elbowed him he's, in the he's face. He's so elbowed him, yeah, that's right. These yeah, screenshot analysts, bro, anyway, get over look, yourselves. Yeah, um, everything look, could have been prevented there, but at you, the end of the day, it is what it is. Look, if you showed me this table, this like if you showed me the table and said, and this round, you're not going to be second, and these points, you'd still be happy. But knowing what we knew the yeah, last six weeks, yeah. and we were first What's and comfortable, actually it's just ridiculous. We, we've dropped points, it's stupid, it's ridiculous. But look, let's move on. Aston Villa winning 1-0 at home to Arsenal. Huge result for Aston Villa. Huge. They're sitting at ninth above Arsenal now. And what's going on with Arsenal, man? Well, is Arteta still in? Or the Storms <laughs> out. Fed is calling you now. But I'm telling you, it's... Um, <laughs> <laughs> my phone was, was this week as well. <laughs> Everyone's ESPN and all these guys. Are <laughs> um, yeah, Arsenal, again. Everyone, all the fans again. Their fans are hilarious because beginning of the season, oh, yeah, Arteta, yeah, look at us go. Boom. Now Mikel the, last, the last few weeks, you know, like <laughs> Mikel Artekas, what happened? They had the, they had those two wins. They've drawn. Now they've lost the last two. They've got Leeds next, which I'm not convinced they're going to be Leeds nah, next. A tough game. I reckon they will though. They're so reckon, hot and cold. They I reckon, no, I reckon Arsenal, Arsenal, Arsenal beat Leeds. But they what? do have they do have some players out. It was a shame with Matty Ryan. Like he, 
He copped that goal, and you know his first touch of the game was grabbing the ball out of the net. Yeah, said, the commentator first, said it. Yeah. His first touch Start in the of Arsenal, his Arsenal career off his boyhood, and it's like, uh, and they asked him at the end. He was uh, he was doing that interview, and he's like, "Oh yeah, you, you're like the third keeper to concede on your debut in within that like much time. Like just ridiculous, stupid, stupid stats, stats bro. bro. Shut up. All these stats, bro. All these stat merchants, bro. Like Fairly comes out like when, he's sending me stats of um. Alexander Arnold when he scored and assisted against Spurs. I go, bro, <laughs> he's trying to compare him with Trent, uh, with, uh, sorry, uh, Wan Basaka. I'm like, bro, he had one but game, the thing, one look, game. The, 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 the thing out of this game that kills me the most is Aston Villa had 12 shots, Arsenal had 14. On target, even though Arsenal had two more than them, on target, Aston Villa had eight and Villa's Arsenal- Villa's got two games in hand. Arsenal well. only three. Villa's got two games in hand. And Villa have two games in hand. And if they win those two, guess where they are? It, yes. Above Liverpool. Fourth. Are they? They are. Yep, 41 points. So watch out, Liverpool, Aston Villa's coming. But yeah, Arsenal, well, Arsenal's in, in trouble again. They just they're, in they're trouble. Like they just they are where they are. Like nah, yeah, look, they I, are I, they I are. think I think if you if you showed the fans the ladder last season, say you'd be tenth now, they'd be happy with that. <laughs> so <I> guess, <laughs> improvement. <laughs> hey, they're not getting relegated, so it's all right. It's all good. It's yeah, all good. But good. look, they're so flat. They just it's 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 a massive concern though, because it's like. And I don't think Arteta out. I still think Arteta in and give him a chance. But it's just ridiculous what they're doing, because they've got the, they've got quality players in the team. They got Pepe. They got Saka. They got yeah. But dude, know, let's be honest. Let's they're be, not be honest. Enough. Let's be honest. The only team that they're probably on paper should be doing better is against West Ham. Like as in where they are on the ladder. Everyone else, I think every other team besides West Ham the at the moment to be above them. deserve kind of deserve even West Ham on the, deserve to be above them, obviously. Deserve, yeah, but like, but like paper, when you look on paper and all that, Arsenal maybe should be every season should be in front of West Ham. Yeah. yeah? Even Aston Villa. Should be in front be of Villa, Villa as well. So roughly they are where they are, bro. Simple as that. Arsenal, they didn't make no really make any signings. Udegaard on, on loan. What's he gonna that's do for He can't make he bad. can't make Madrid struggling squad. He's gonna make uh, do anything for Arsenal. I think he might offer something. Yeah, not, enough, what, not enough, not enough for something. Anyway, what. Arsenal fans, concerning for you guys, but it's nothing new for you guys. You guys are used to it. We then so, uh, saw Burnley draw one all to Brighton. Nothing big to touch on there. Newcastle with 10 men beating Southampton 3 to at home. Southampton, what, five losses in a row? Look but at that. What, but what That's is going terrible. on? Because Southampton's a decent Bro, Danny squad. Danny Ings is back. They got Minamino. Like, nice squad, yeah. They, they're not a bad squad, but they're eating it at the moment. Yeah. Like something you go in form there. now, they're really hitting the, where they're meant to be. That's the that's the thing. They had a good yeah. start, and now you're really okay. Yeah, you're about there, thereabouts compared to the rest of the league. You yeah. notice every season they either start really bad and then pick it up, and or, they really finish, or they start bad and finish. Yeah. yeah, isn't that funny? They're doing that shit now. And but you can never write. Yeah. The thing is, you can never write them off. They got Wolves this week, and Wolves are like literally like two wolves points are behind. Hot and cold too, right? They're hot yeah. and cold this season as well. Absolutely. Um, but that's going to be that's another interesting that's game. That's a draw. That's a draw. And then you know what? Speaking of Wolves, nil or draw to. So Leicester this week as well. Leicester. Yeah, and that, that's a big hit for Leicester compared Massive. to the way they were going. Massive. One loss in the in the last five, and that was that to was Leeds. to Leeds, which was a sh another shock at home yeah. defeat. Vardy has come back in. Um, maybe once he this starts getting some goals, start changing these nil or draws to. Well, it's, yeah. it's, it's 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 been a great points, season so. for Tillemans and Madison this year. It's been a yeah. brilliant season for them. Unfunfortunate draw against. But they look. They're still there. That's, they're that's still they're lost. still in the top four. Before we move on against the, uh, the game after this. And they've got Liverpool next. Who wins that game? Prediction. Where are they playing, you reckon? <laughs> Where are they playing? Nah, they're not. They're uh, not. Shit. <laughs> yeah, Liverpool's yeah. going to win if it's, if it's in Leicester Ham's ground. If I it's in Anfield, they can't win there. Yeah. To be honest, it's good for us if Liverpool beat them. We, we actually need Liverpool to beat them. A draw them. would be the best result for draw us. Draw would be all right, yeah. Draw yeah, would a draw would be the best result. result. But at the moment, it doesn't really matter. doesn't. To, with, 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 to City, it doesn't know City flying. Yeah. Um, and s look, b b before we go to the match of the week, Tottenham 2 0 at home to West Brom. Finally get their win. Much needed. Very much needed. They needed that win massively. Mourinho is done, though, eh? He's, he's, but he's been just done. Go, for just many go Portugal. Years. Just go Portugal. You're a cup manager. Just, just, <laughs> we're speaking about it. Remember, yeah, after remember, this, I go. Yeah. And I, you know what? I, I, I was watching back some of the videos to clip up, you know, and uh, <laughs> some of you guys. But I was watching hey, the one I did. And I was watching the one I did uh, about Mourinho when. Um, when Poch got sacked, and I even said, I go, this job, if Mourinho, if Mourinho uh, gets hired, it's either going to bring back his legacy or he's going to ruin his legacy by going to a team where he knows you're not really going to get backed. He's not really, he hasn't really been backed in like in a transfer window where he's your, what, what plays do you need? I don't think he really wanted Bale. I think it was a Levy signing to get Bale in just for the whole marketing value. I believe Otherwise, that. 
Sorry? Yeah, I believe that. And because he hasn't even hasn't been playing him at all. Like you're losing to Liverpool. And, and he puts him on later. Yeah. Does, and no, I don't think he, does, he, he doesn't put him on. Put him on. He doesn't, doesn't put, him put him on. on. He put him on, yeah. I think this guy or what, No, what game was what game was it where they were losing and then Yeah, he put him on right at the end. At the end, yeah. Yeah, yeah he put yeah, him yeah. on at the end, yeah. but against Liverpool doesn't even put him on. No. Nah. Who do they play actually? But the it's Chelsea, Chelsea game. Chelsea. But it's so funny. The Chelsea game, you're right. Again, again, like Arsenal, beginning of the season, they were great. Yeah. Yeah, they good even, start. They even smacked the United 6 1, and they were, they were picking up form. They were getting three points, three but points. But is that not points. how he started at United as well? That's how he starts everywhere. Yeah, yeah and now you can see he's already having play. Like every 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 team that he goes to, there's always that one player that cops it. Deli Ali has cop, copped it in this case. They could use someone like Deli Ali in, in some yeah, of these and games. And he didn't even go away. He's no. still there. In the he team. got that Jetson Fernandez on a. On the deal in last January or, or at the start yeah, of the year, know. and he's on loan now. He's mm. shipped him out to loan. Um, who else? You got? Oh, I'm, so not, I'm not convinced. Uh, what's his name? No, Bergwijn. Bergwijn. Yeah. Where, Bergwijn yeah, no. is always like starts. And we, how many times have three. we said he needs he needs a backup number nine? When Harry Kane gets injured, you guys are done. He got injured for a couple of games. They couldn't pick up a win. They couldn't hardly score any goals. And they, they still didn't get a they yeah. still didn't get well, a nine. Look at that. They you got Gareth early. Bale. Look at that. The most expensive mascot. Win, loss, league. loss, loss, win. That's terrible. And now they've got to bounce back against City. I Do you know what? To I be fair, they've, I, think they've had a, I think they've had a good result, good like record against um against City. Against City in the last couple of in the last couple of games. But well, there's a derby in itself between Guardiola and, and Mourinho. So that's right. In a sense, the form goes at the window, right? Well, well let's see. Two, the last game two 0 So they beat him actually this season. In November they, they the beat last, him. They haven't they lost won to him in since 2018. Shit. There you go, man. There you go. So, hopefully, Mourinho can do some sort of job, even well, for the Spurs' we'll sake. Even draw, even just for draw. Spurs, yeah, for Spurs, the sake of Spurs to get back into game. some sort of race. You know what I mean? High pressure game. But right, we'll go what? over. Look. We'll go over to the Liverpool. Yeah, I mean, look, look, we, we still do have Leeds in Crystal Palace. This is shot before that, and then also like, Chelsea getting a win as well. Tuchel getting some results on the board the last couple of games. But yeah, no, nothing but, really but, but it's, it's going to get back down again. It's only because the the new manager. It always happens. Whenever a new manager comes period. in, <laughs> even if it's good or shit, a few wins, the dip again will be re reality, and everyone's Lampard in again. But um, yeah, John Terry, <laughs> John Terry in <laughs> Man City four one to Liverpool. Yeah, where's all the some Liverpool soft, supporters? Some soft penalties in this game. Yeah, most Salas who took out his Salah's legs. Salas one's disgusting. I didn't see anyone tackle his legs. He went down like he got shot. But um, it is what it is. I told you, man. I told you, no plan B from Jurgen Klopp. Um, and it showed again in this game. Liverpool fans want to blame injuries. Yeah. You can do that if that makes you feel better, but you're going to start blaming your. No, I'm being honest. At, at some point, you're going to have to start blaming the manager for your injuries. Because against Michelin, when you guys were through already in the Champions League, your last game, you decided to play your whole starting lineup. Jota gets injured. Someone else, uh, Matip, I think, might have got injured in that game too, when there was no point of even playing these guys. Um, even in, in the last couple of games and you got Liverpool fans just making excuse after excuse that Burnley their first loss at home Salah was on the bench oh he, you know Salah should have played you should be winning these games without Salah like Salah can have a rest and you can be you should be winning these games don't tell me injuries against Fulham you can't beat Fulham at was it at home or whatever it doesn't matter where, where it is yeah where was that that might have been at home I don't know. I don't think so. But them games you should be winning without Burnley, yeah, look, Burnley, Brighton. These games you should be beating without you know a few what? certain players, a certain in certain all, key players. In, in, out. All, in all honesty, if if you were to go through the squads, I'm not going to get from one by one, but quickly. But like you look at Liverpool, they got Salah, Firmino, Mane, Wijnaldum, Fabinho playing, Alexander Arnold, Robertson, Allison. Liverpool uh, City squad is not much better. You look at City squad: Sterling, Ferdinand, Mares. No yeah, striker. Yeah, Gundogan. No yeah, striker. all right, Silva. No striker, no De Bruyne. They've got no, exactly. Laporte, no Laporte no, no doesn't play, yeah, no because Jesus. Stones is in form. Like, Where's Laporte? Like, it's just, they keep yeah, it. Di like, in the back one, Diaz and Stones. Strong. Yeah, Stones. Stones. Yeah, backs of, but all of them. It doesn't even matter. Them, yeah, they got, they that's right. Some, that's some what I mean. But, Why? But, but this is what I mean. I just named Liverpool squad and City squad. They have no striker, like we said. No Aguero, no James. The best player in the Premier League, arguably, not James, sorry, um, Strongly, Jesus, Jesus, on the, on the arguably the best yeah. player in the, in the Premier League in De Bruyne, not playing, but they still smack him for one. Light work, What's and, and Liverpool fans are like, "Oh, well, what City last season? Why had no Laporte? One injury, they're complaining he's not playing now, and they're where?" But you know, like ten points clear. Man City's in in some run now. They 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 look five as wins. good as they have first of all, all year. And Liverpool have been shaky. Like it's 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 a it's a bad timing to have this fixture for Liverpool. It is, and great time for Man City. Man it City, yes, put them straight back in their place. Like 
Like yeah, but it's not even about this game in general. Just the whole the, the last couple of weeks for Liverpool since before Christmas, mm. where they, they should have been ten points clear, and now they're ten points behind City, thirteen okay. if they if they win that game in hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? And these guys massive, these guys were self proclaimed best English champions in in the Premier League, bro. Do you yeah, do me a favor, bro? Do me a favor. Well, look, like I said, if Everton and Aston Villa win their next two games, Liverpool's sixth, not fourth. So that, <laughs> there's a reality there. There's a wake up call. There's a massive check. That they could potentially be fighting for Europa soon. It's not about the title or Premier League or Champions League. Sorry, it's now about <laughs> like like Can I said to you. Four? If everyone wants to get their three points right now below them, they they're coming six. They're not fourth. It's so you can scary. look at the ladder right now. And we're not. It's not the start of the season anymore either. It's, it's not. This is, yeah. we're, we're past the halfway we're point. All the way in. We're all the way in. It's. But it is obviously some, some promising concerns. Yeah, At we, one point, are we all the way in? Hey, <laughs> all the way in. in <laughs> PDHB. <laughs> um, but um, look, where I know. Don't get me wrong. The last two seasons, Champions League winners. You know, Champions of Europe, Prem, English Champions of England. At one point, at what point do you sit and start to blame Klopp as a manager? Look, I think before Christmas, questions have to be asked. I mean, not even. I reckon be, when they came back from. When they came back from lockdown last last season, if you look at the percentages of where they were to where they are now, they've dropped maybe like almost fifty percent in where they were. Um, so you so can't really blame as in as in points like where they were at this stage last season compared to where they yeah. are now. There's a there's a big drop. Um, like obviously, if we're talking fifteen I, years ago, you don't even think about. No, no, no I'm talking about just the just the no, season. No, no, but what I'm saying is, if you looked at managers how they were treated fifteen years ago, you don't even think about. No, sack. no, look, look. But in this generation of football, managers are getting sacked. No, no, like, no, no I'm, I'm not talking about sack. I'm not. I'm not talking about sacking him. Look, what he's done for Liverpool and it's like you got to even now, he, he's he's up there as one of the best managers in the in world. The world if he still yeah. isn't, um, but at the moment. You gotta at the end of the day, you gotta question the manager. You, you gotta what? stop using excuses. This guy's coming out before the city game and uh, whinging about. And I told you, this guy's rattled, and he's talking about our oh, city have had m more rest uh, here, and they they didn't play because of a COVID. Nah, see, because they got COVID, and then they're resting. But he had he had more rest when he came eight days rest before the United game, eight eight days rest before the game when they lost to Burnley. So they've I had the most rest out of all I these said teams. This. Remember I said this to you guys? With the second he started talking at the camera about the at United, about he United, lost to Southampton and he signed that United straight penalties. away. I'm like, okay, deflecting. He's, he's losing it now. He is. Maybe because maybe he's he, affecting the players too. But they, he's they losing can see, it. They can see it that, that right, he's he, not the way he has been before the United game. He's talking about how we get what are yeah. free kicks and other penalties and, yeah. or whatever. And it worked. Do you know what? It worked and it worked and it worked because we. A few calls that we should have got against Fulham. Fred should have got a penalty. Never got it. It was clear cut penalty. I think that tackle inside yeah. the box. Uh, Loftus, not Loftus cheek maybe. Yeah. Uh, a few, a few of the other deci so decisions against Southampton. So it's, it's worked. But then once, once Oli has come out yeah. and said, "Yeah, these guys can talk and get the decisions," I think now the referees are starting besides, to look at that. But, all right. Besides him talking about all that in camera, where in their football do you blame Klopp? Like, is he making the wrong subs? No plan B. The wrong 11. But is that the, is that the owners not buying players because they can't sign anyone? Or like, what he is can it? sign players. He should be demanding to sign players. Yeah. He should stop making excuses. Maybe he's not, maybe he's not getting back by the board. Did, like, he, uh, did, did he sign two? He's not, they signed two players. And yeah, yeah, but why, are they, why aren't they on the bench? Why, on the, why are they on the bench? Davies. That's the thing. So you've got to blame him. for. Why is Donny on the bench for you? But were, were they, I, but I, were I they starting? They're not starting quality players. I wouldn't. Right I wouldn't now, right now, anyone will start in the back line. Yeah. When you've got Henderson and Fabinho. Yeah, but imagine the disconnect between all the players. You Two you bought two backs. center backs. You bought two center backs. I, I, I don't know about that Davies guy, but I know the one from Schalke because I support Ger my German team, Schalke. So if you're going to bring him in, you bring him in to start. You're not going to bring him to play in January to hang out and see what happens. And you're going to bring him in to start. You're, you're ejecting fresh blood and the team's buzzing when you get a fresh player, a new player. But I don't know. It's just, it's interesting to know where and how can you blame Klopp at the moment. He's burnt them out without replacing him, yeah? You look at, you look at a lot of teams in the past um, Alexander Arnold for a youngster looked a bit burnt out this season too. Yeah, yeah he yeah. is. He's, he's completely burnt much out, and he's playing the wrong way. <laughs> I think honestly, I think he's running way too much. I know it sounds crazy. Yeah, but then and that's uh, what I mean. A lot of teams players killing him. Yeah. And look, he's a, when when you're a system manager like Klopp is, and you, and you stick to the same system week in week out, season after season, what three seasons now? It's the the system has worked for you. Or two and a half, if you really want to think about. Look it at Mourinho now; his system's dead, finished. And you, when you don't want to change it up, this is this is what this is what's going to exactly going to happen. Teams are going to find you; they're going to you're going to be found out. And it's not so much against like, to be honest, the 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 result against um I think you might have called the four one, but 
the the result was a bit surprising because it's usually the the teams that play with a low block to block off the channels for Salah, um, Mane, and all that yeah, to get into. But but um, but usually it's them teams that they struggle against because their system relies on the pace of their their front players. But the problem was, man, City's goals were all way too easy. They were all way too yeah. easy. But then, like you said, it, like yeah, but I'm, just, I'm not just talking about this saying, game in general. Yeah, no, but but, but you were saying, for example, Allison playing is a poor decision from. Yeah, the, I don't know. I'm, I'm not saying is it he was ill. What was he? Is his head here? Is it like how sick is he? Is it just a headache? <laughs> like is it that sick? Is it like what's what was wrong with him? I know illness. What's that? What's that mean? You know what I mean? I don't know. They'll Could that lose focus? He's made one mistake, and that mistake has carried on through the whole game now. Like he's he's focusing on that. And yeah. look, let's be let's be honest. He's not that type of keeper to um to make the mistakes. I've never seen him make that many mistakes in a game ever in his Liverpool career. So you but might want you might want to give him leeway there, but it's the wrong time, bro. Wrong time to make them sort of mistakes. You're not three one up where you can make a mistake like because the Haya, the Haya makes mistakes like that sometimes. But we're already free free nil up. So it, you know we don't really look, we look kind of look past that. Their mistakes when you're when you win the and game, and especially when this is against Man City. That's right. Up, is, to make it like make you pay for it. A club, I don't know. Klopp, bro, Klopp's sending the wrong messages to his players, I reckon. And, the, and like, you, I don't know if you saw always it. trust the Allison. Like that's so out of character. Like, and it comes after a, a, a run of poor games at home, and 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 it starts from the top. Do you remember the, the, the last game? Klopp. The last game before lockdown, last season we had we had City, no Rashford, no Pogba, I, I saw a, a lot of other key players missing. And we, we went into this game with like Fred McTominay and just just a team that you look at on paper and you're like, we're going to get slapped up and we ended up winning 2-0. Sometimes you got to throw in these players because they want to prove something. Do you know what I mean? Throw in that, that the, new, the new player that you got in um, from, from Schalke. Put him in. He might, he might step up. He might want to prove to himself. He's like, you know what? There's no, <laughs> there's no centre-backs here at the moment. Let me be the, the main guy now. And then what happens there? Fabinho, if Fabinho or Henderson gets out of there... Goes yeah. back into the midfield. Mm. So, I don't know. I don't but know. then, look. like, you got to look at some of the players. Like, yeah, Thiago is a you know, world-class player, but does he fit this system? He, do, he's, he doesn't really make any runs. He doesn't go, he doesn't chase back. He doesn't drop in to win, try to win the ball back. And every time he gets the ball, it takes too long to release. So, when you got players like Mane and Salah, that as soon as your midfield players get the ball, all right, Henderson, I'll bag him out. But as soon as Henderson gets the ball, usually it's, it's in, within a second, the ball's already released. Yeah. Uh, um, Tiago just wants to keep turning and finding yeah. different options, but he does look. To be honest, he's, he's, he hasn't done too bad. But come on, when you're versing teams like Fulham, bro, you should be running rings. And like this is this is something that Klopp. It's not all. It's not all the manager to blame, but he's got to look at himself, bro. He hasn't changed the system once. When has he changed it up? And when he does make changes, he, he's in in the um, FA Cup against United. He's taken off. Like, he's taken off Salah to put in Origi. Like. W- like for like, or he's taking off a, a defender for a defender when you're when you're behind. What are your what, the substitutions? Don't make sense. Go all out. If you're trying to win the game against Burnley, who who was it? Was it Burnley or Brighton? He's made some of the subs that he's making. You're like you're taking off one striker and bringing on another one. Why don't you keep them all on? Take off a midfielder. Take off a a, a defender. Push Alexander Arnold up. We know he's decent going forward. Push him up. Yeah, Have change, three in the back. The shape, yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, man. Do, do, oh no! Oh, just keep doing as they're doing, please. Yeah, please yeah, 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 keep yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, I mean, do, um, boys. But like, well, even with the ESPN, the, the guy asked him. <laughs> he goes, um, "Is there is there still like like is there is there a possibility that you you might you know you can still go for the league?" And he and he fool lost it. He fool. Oh, do you ask yourself, are you the best commentator? Do you think you're? How can you be the now? Like he's so fucking. Because he's a pussy. He's just so <laughs> rattled, bro. You're so rattled. Instead of just saying. Oh, it's a, it's a weird season. Anything can happen. You know what I mean? Like it's COVID. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a long. There's still a long way. To, instead of just trying it gets, to, co- it gets defensive. Trying to cover yeah. his squad. Trying to cover his squad. He, he, What'd he, you say about my mom? Nines, nines, But um, I guess the the golden question: Do Liverpool still make top four? Oh, it's definitely up there. Yeah, it's, it's on the cards. It's on the cards. It's on the cards. <laughs> it's, 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 it's something that should that should be looking it's forward like, to. Oh, bro! Come the last day of the season. And yeah. That's what happens, bro. These, these guys are speaking all this shit, bro, about these guys are the fucking best English Premier League champions of all time. Do one, please, bro. Best champions have to be Man City. Why? The hundred point season. Yeah, but they haven't done it three years in a row. Yeah, but a hundred point season. Come but on. they haven't done it three years in a row. Solely in one season. That's, a, that's the best Premier League winning. T- yeah, anyway. on points. On points. That's a group chat. That's the best season. That, that, best that, league, that, Premier that, League season. That's a group chat. Team. 
we'll, but we'll save that. Though. But speaking of City, they they're looking very strong, very hard to catch. Five points clear, one game in hand from second. They're the ones. It that wouldn't surprise me. Really it wouldn't fair. surprise me if the top four stays as it is at the end of the season. It wouldn't think surprise so. me. Chelsea's only one point behind. Yeah, though. Chelsea can catch some. Form. Yeah, no, I still don't think so. I still think too cool. This is the top four right. Too now. cool football, bro. He comes in instead of. The, uh, I love how he just changed the um the two holding players. Oh no, twin sixes, <laughs> twin sixes now. That's gonna be the new one. That's the thing. Twin sixes. They're not two holding anymore. Now I'm playing with two sixes, uh, twin sixes. <laughs> Cute football, bro. Proper twelve. Right? We, Ollie's beaten him before, so it's no worries. Next time we play him, <laughs> better mean twice. Uh, uh, I feel like we we can't beat Chelsea. Like we always draw. Like the last one. We, we can't. We, we haven't beaten anyone in the top six. Season. We haven't beaten any of these guys. It's embarrassing. No, no, no Leicester. No. Nah, hey, Drew. But, hey, but, but West Ham. Staff, West Ham. We beat West Ham. Liverpool, bro. Five of the bottom six teams have beaten them. Yeah, so. how's that for a stat, guy? How's that, mate? <laughs> have they? Did they lose to Sheffield? Even she- <laughs> Sheffield's got no. They have. I don't think so. Many wins the last five as us. Trust me, it's a fair, stat. Fair income. <laughs> <laughs> fair income, mate. That's spot on. But anyway, yeah, anyways, we'll ra- we'll wrap it up there. City. I'm still still kind of spewing, man, fuming about the United result, but it is what it is. At the end of the day. But it we makes start, sense. We've got to move on to the next game against West Brom and try to get a victory there. Sam Aladici is fighting for the relegation. He probably had the worst record out of everyone at the moment. Man City he, next. He's won like one in 11. Oh, and it was, I think it was to Wolves, wasn't it? Yeah, but then you have oh, Man City versus Spurs. Jose has got to do something. Jose has got to do something. And Leicester versus Liverpool. Look at his games next week. That's a yep. good game. Wow. Okay. Shut it. Arsenal. Uh, Arsenal Leeds is a good one too to watch. Yeah. Um, yeah, it it's, it's, it's anything can happen. It's a good, it's a good game. Little so Arsenal, not too far from. I feel like Arsenal actually will win that game. Far. I don't know. I Leeds. reckon they're reckon two 0 yeah. Leeds are dangerous, man. Yeah, but also football does it. They'll get exposed against some of the quick pace teams. Yeah, you reckon Leeds win? No, no, Arsenal. I think Arsenal will beat them. I reckon Leeds two 0 You reckon uh, Arsenal two 0 He's like another Klopp, right? Doesn't change system up. Play the same attacking, <laughs> attacking football, bro. The whole game, you're fucking six 0 down. Yeah. Six 0 anyway, down, look. bro. <laughs> Fairy man, it's just we, we'd like to have you, bro. You can't. I'd like to have any other Liverpool fan here. All you guys talk shit, start tagging me and fucking rubbish on social media, but I don't want to well, show your faces. You know, <laughs> we what? all know who we're talking about too. For 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 Borcher's sake, I want three of you here. Yeah, they won't make it. What Damien Sags and Fairy? <laughs> uh, two or two out of the three. Two out of the three will make it, <laughs> but one of them, one special brother, I won't will not be here. He'll make some random excuse, <laughs> like Klopp. It's raining. It's the, uh, Allison's feet were cold. <laughs> She's not. Uh, shut up. My brain stopped working. Shut up. Yeah, brain stopped working. Anyways, guys, we'll wrap it up there. Make sure, like always, leave all your comments below. Like Rami already said. Um, yeah, guys, let's hope FA Cup. We we beat Jesse Lingard and the boys and Moise. I don't think J- Jesse will be playing, but stay injury free. Stay injury free. Please stay COVID free. <laughs> wash your hands, and if you're like Rami, make sure you wash. The caps, the lids there because it's a lot of germs. Wash the cans before you drink. Because they're made in China, so you don't know where the the cans have come from. A bat could have served it to you. (laughs) Batman. Take it easy, guys.